Hello, Leo. How are we doing today? I'm Lauren. This is the Untitled Tarot. Welcome. You guys were awfully quiet when I was trying to decide which fire signs to do in which order. And I thought that is very unlike a Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sick. It's just allergy season for me. I'm just home quarantined, enjoying the beginning of allergy season. So that's how I'm doing, in case anyone was wondering. But yeah, I thought it was really unusual for a Leo to be so quiet. And I was picking up very, um, like, I heard, like, wounded warrior. Very, like, very sad kitty vibes. Very sad kitty vibes. Like, um, like, bruised ego or, like, like hurt pride kind of thing. Like, I heard, like, licking, licking wounds. <clears throat> Are you guys licking your wounds about something? You guys feeling did something happen? Hurt your pride a little bit, making you feel like you have to retreat into your little your little lion cave to, to lick your wounds, regain your strength. What's going on? Hmm? I don't know. Let's see. As always, we want to thank Source for being with us today, <clears throat> for connecting with me, helping me connect with you, my little Leos. And I thank them for their love, blessing, abundance. All the messages, all the guidance, every day, every way, always. Let's see what we got here for you. Do you want to start with this? Yeah, I want to start with this. This is the Everyday Witches Tarot by Deborah Blake. It's a gem. We love it. We love us some Deborah Blake in this house. <clears throat> oh my God, this just started happening. This happened with another sign earlier. Is that part of your Leo? You don't want to speak up that your, your, your feelings are hurt about something? You can tell me. I'm going to find out anyway. What's going on, my little babies? Eight of cups on its side. <clears throat> Not sure if, some, if you want to work on something, if something's going to work. If something wants to work with you. Look at you. Strength. <clears throat> is it going to take some, uh, some strength to be able to pull, your, pull yourself out of whatever little hole you're in? Six of Pentacles reversed. Not feeling like you could give what you want to a situation. Is that part of your hurt pride? Is it like a providing thing? With the quarantines and all the shutdowns and everything, a lot of people are out of work. So, I mean, Leo's really pride themselves on their pride, you know? And what is, isn't that a group of lions? Isn't that like what they call like a pack of lions? A pride? Is that wrong? Is that right? Why aren't you answering me? Is that what that is? It might be. So there might be something in that for you that, um, you know, you might be out of work right now, given the state of the world and not feeling like you're able to provide in a normal sense that, you know, like you're like you're normally able to. And so maybe that's making you ooh, take it easy. Maybe that's making you feel a little insecure or like a little bit like a wounded warrior because you don't really know like what else to do, you know? You're like, what other options do I have? I'm hearing like, that's not for me. That's not for me. So you are a fire sign. So are you being a little stubborn? Are you being a little stubborn? It could be like, it could, it could be a situation. I'm getting almost, it's like a, like the schools are closed. So say you're a teacher, right? You're a teacher and you, this is just an example. And the schools are closed, you know? Um, and you say to yourself, well, I'm a teacher. I'm not going to go down to the convenience store down the street and apply for a job because I'm a teacher, you know, because the convenience store is like the only thing that's open. <clears throat> We're like, I don't want to go deliver pizzas because that's the only thing that's like available right now because restaurants and bars are only doing delivery and kick out until in my area until like eight o'clock at night. You're like, no, I'm a teacher. I don't do that. No, I'm a candlestick maker. 
I make candles, I don't deliver pizzas. Like that could be like a little bit of that pride, that stubbornness coming through. And two of Pentacles, trying to weigh your options. Maybe trying to balance some of your energies out, sitting there licking your wounds, figuring out where do I go from here. What other option do I have? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got justice, eight of wands. You have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this might be like a work situation for you guys. I'm, I'm not really getting like a interpersonal. I mean, it could be, you know, energies are general. So this could manifest in a lot of different ways for you. But this is feeling very much of like a work situation with this justice and this eight of wands, especially. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse tells me that, like, I just, I, just, I just want to show you this, right? So you have this justice, and you have this girl, and this is, like, my, like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, like, we're almost there, it's the Eight of Wands, like, and then it's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like she's trying to, to work her magic in order to make sure that this doesn't happen. You know, a little bit of, like, a grasping at straws energy. And with this justice, it makes me feel like maybe you don't feel as though you are getting it. Like, I've, I've invested in this. Like, I work hard. I take care of my stuff. Like, this because the situation's out of your hands, it feels like an injustice to you. Ten of wands in reverse, wanting to put down these burdens. You don't want to feel like this. <laughs> and you have ten of swords in reverse. This is you going into like your little your little lion cave and licking your wounds and trying to like reassess, like figure out, like back to the drawing board. Like what are we going to do about this? How do we make justice for ourselves in this situation? But they're in reverse, which means that like you're 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 healing up. You're you're getting back in fighting shape. The Emperor and the Five of Pentacles. You're trying to get in control of your shit. You're a Leo. You got this. Heal up. It's like almost like I you hear like I want. It's like I see like a lion opening its mouth to roar, and it's like a little kitten. That's what it sounds like. Like you're just a little too wounded, but you're gonna sit there. You're gonna come back into your full control and full energy of yourself in your power, because you're not gonna let yourself sit here for very long, are you? No, you're not, because you're a Leo, and Leos don't sit. They're lions, they roam. Everybody has to come back to the cave every once in a while, take a chill pill, get a band-aid, have some water, take a nap, whatever. But you're not gonna sit in here for long. You're a fire sign. You'd melt that whole place up, impossible. Oh, page of wands in reverse. Not feeling like you could take this passionate, this, like the initiative that you want in this situation come back here three of pentacles in reverse not feeling like you have anything to show off for your hard work right now i get that it's like i'm almost hearing like i've worked all this time just to sit here on unemployment that's kind of like the vibes i'm getting the hierophant how does this fall Mm. Mm. A little on its side. You could go either way. It's a little bit on its side. So this is definitely shaking up some of your, like your core infrastructure, your stability a little bit. Especially Leos. Like Leos are, are very charismatic and, and they take a lot of pride in things and what they do and, and, and what they have to show. You know, not necessarily in like a superficial way, just like a hard work. Kind of way you know it's a leo it's a life of the party like they're the showstoppers for sure and so i feel like you feel maybe like your show has been stopped a little bit and that's hurt your pride and so you're taking some time out because you're like i can't i don't have anything to show anybody right now you know no flexes nobody's nobody's flexing right now you have the magician feeling like you can't mani manifest your ten of cups your emotional fulfillment that like i said it just could be a romantic or interpersonal relationship for you it feels more like work because I feel like a Leo loves to lead, you know? A Leo loves to take care of their shit. That, that, that is emotionally fulfilling for a Leo to, to 
meet a need. And so feeling like you can't do that's got you, got you in your little, in your little cave. Feeling like a little kitten, but you're not, but you're not, page of pentacles. You might have to go back to the drawing board. But you're a Leo, what you build is strong. It's stable, sometimes slower than you'd like. Leos like to run, but they also know how to hunker down and almost like stalk a prey, like slowly approach what they want. They know the right time to strike. Just takes a little step. Two of swords. Sometimes you gotta go in blind. You don't know what you're gonna, you don't know what you're gonna draw up when you get to the drawing board. But Leos are not failures, which is why you have the page of pentacles. Because whatever you reassess, you realign, whatever you gotta do, whether it's temporary, whether it's long-term, it, it will be enough to sustain you. Five of swords, not being so defensive about the process, slowly poking your head out of your little cave. Because look at you, baby. You're the empress. You're full of life. You're full of potential and opportunity. Nothing's going to keep you down for long. Even a, even a wounded warrior, even a, even a wounded lion is still a lion. Think of the Lion King. Come on now. Three of Wands. Focus. Focus. This is my like, stay focused. This is stay focused. You're almost there. This is like not feeling like you're there yet. Not feeling like you're getting there. You're going to. You're not there yet, but you're going to get there. You have options. You have opportunities. You have to look for them in unusual places that you wouldn't normally look for them. But you're a Leo. You know how to hunt. And look at you. Giving a shit. You're going to do it because you care. Because you're loyal. Because you take care of your own. Your pack. Your pride. You're going to be in control of your emotions. You're not going to be just roaring, roaring through the jungle. You're in control. And look at this, my little king of pentacles. So not only are you gonna be in control of all these fiery emotions that you have, feeling that, that lack of control because your, your infrastructure of being able to provide has been a little shaken up, but you're gonna get control of all of this because look at you, look at you. You're a Leo, I would expect nothing else. And by doing that, you will, Create your justice. Anything else in this? Before we move on, one more. Four of swords in reverse. Time to come out of that cave. Get to work. That's what I'm hearing. Get to work. This is. The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck by Kim Kranz. I felt called to use it. I decided that you, each sign gets to pick whatever decks they want to use. I'm not going to force you to a deck. This is what you wanted. Oh my God. Reign Supreme. Reign Supreme. Mm, mm, okay, okay, relax. Okay, this card really wants... Do you see this? Do you see this card floating in between these two decks? It just tried to pop out. I tried to pop back in. It wants to come back out. This is the Fox energy. This is friendly, loyal. It's also innovative. It's a resourceful energy. It's a little sly quick on its feet. This is about a strike of inspiration for you. You got the dolphin. This is a very good hearted, friendly natured 
loyal community building, take care of everything spirit. It's also very happy energy. I mean, you're Leo, you're a fire sign. You burn bright, baby, you burn bright. It's the buffalo spirit. It's big. It's like thunder. Like it's not quite here yet, but you can feel it. You can feel like the rumbling of the ground or you could see the shake of the blades of the grass. It's like a storm coming in. You feel it, you sense it. It's coming for you. And what's coming for you, my dear? The camel spirit. Pulling everything out of yourself that you know. Because you are not weak and you are not helpless. You are capable and you are adaptable and you have a big reserve of tools in your toolbox to figure your way out of this situation, to manage it in a way that makes you feel better, makes you feel more confident in yourself, makes you feel like you're doing what you wanna be doing, which is taking care of your shit. And the vulture spirit tells me that you, while you're laying in your little cave, like in your little paws, figuring out your shit, that you're gonna let this come in and clear out all the shit for you. All the stuff that's not serving you, those insecurities, that your self-worth is somehow wrapped up in your ability to provide when it's not, that's not your self-worth. That's just the actions that you're taking. That's just what you, the way that you show people, places, and things that you care about them is by stepping up and taking care of them. Some people say, some people do, some people capable of both. Everybody has a love language. Leos take care of their pride. And you can't do that if you're sitting in your cave, all sad, woe is me, like the cowardly lion. Can you? No. So this vulture spirit's gonna come in and it's gonna clear out all that shit. All those doubts, that self-defeating negative talk, any of that, that, that continues the vicious cycle of insecurity and I'm not enough and I'm not doing enough and I'm not good enough and I'm supposed to do this and I'm supposed to do that. It's gonna clear all that up for you. And it's gonna remind you that you have this whole tank of skills and reserves deep, deep inside of yourself that you've been building and collecting and working on your whole entire life. And they're gonna come on out and you're gonna show everyone. You're gonna shine bright like the little sun you are, my little Leos. And you're gonna take care of it all. It's gonna be just fine. Mm. Okay, okay. Rise to the occasion, cream to the top. And you got the golden egg and the starfish. This is you cracking the case, figuring out. It's like having an epiphany about yourself, you know, that when you have these things around you that normally you could rely on, say your job, uh, th there being enough room in the hospital, the kids being able to go to school, what, whatever it is, when these things are, are taken away from us, we can feel very out of control. We can feel very insecure, but this is a reminder that you have everything that you need. You are what's inside of this golden egg. All of your resourcefulness, all of your skills, all of your wisdom that you've gained. It's like a bat. You could see in the dark. You can sense it. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my. They can operate in the wilderness. They can operate in, in the darkness because their senses are heightened. You're a lion, you're a Leo, use your senses. You can sense which direction you're supposed to go, where to hunt. And you have the starfish, because you're gonna shine. You're gonna roam through the jungle. This is very much of um, you seeing what you have within yourself and letting, and not, not being pushed down by your circumstances, but instead like really rising to the occasion, rise up. You're a Leo, rise up, stand on all four legs and go roam, go hunt, go get what you want because you know what it is. It feels like it's just like at the tip of your tongue. It's like, you're like, I almost know what I gotta do. Like, I almost know, I almost know. Like, 
I almost see another option. I almost see another opportunity. It's coming. You're almost there. Come out of your cave. It's okay. Not too far though. Stay, stay six feet away from the other lions. Okay? Thank you, Leo, very much. If you need anything, I'm here. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.